Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rachel Days, uh, which is my stage name. I usually do comedy. I usually do stand-up comedy, and that's how I know Scott. But not everything is jokes. And um, I'm here to talk about my father. Uh, before I was Rachel Days, I will always be Rachel Wormuth. And this is my father, Walter Wormuth. Um, my dad passed away seven years ago uh, due to complications of COPD, congestive heart failure, and a faulty pacemaker. He was only 55. Um, my dad and I had a bond that I can only describe as pure chemistry, which is kind of weird when it's your dad, but it was... <laughs> We just thought on the same wavelength, and we had the same ethics and the same motivations. And um, I'm gonna tell you a story about uh, him and I now. Uh, in the fifth grade, I was nominated for the National Junior Honor Society. And in order to get into the National Junior Honor Society, you had to fill out some extensive essays about your character, some questionnaires, multiple hours of volunteer work and um, you had to, you had to go through an interview process so I did it at the age of fifth in fifth grade and they rejected me they said we're not we, you need to develop and please try again next year so I tried again I did all of the essays all of the questionnaires all of the interviewing in the volunteer hours and they said no thank you once again my final year in eighth grade, I had asked the advisor for some help. I said, can you help me fill out some of this paperwork? They said, it's Rachel, it's based on your character. So we really can't help you with this material. So I, I did it all again. I did it once more. And I knew this was the only, this was gonna be the final opportunity that I had to get in. And I finally got in. And they had a large award ceremony, well, large for my class of 110 people, but it was large. We had cookies and punch and all that, you know. And uh, you had to pick a chaperone, someone to walk you down to the stage so you can be escorted onto the stage. So, of course, I picked my, my dad. And during the rehearsal for the award ceremony, the teacher, Mrs. Perkins, she says, Make sure you stand here. Make sure you're at this location at this time. Make sure you go up the stairs this way. And I was going to do it because it took me so long to get there. <laughs> so finally, the night comes for the award ceremony. My dad is there. Everyone's supposed to be dressed up. I can see everyone else's dad wearing a suit. My dad in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> He had worked 12 hours that day on an excavator, so I was just lucky, I was just grateful that he was there, to be honest. And um, it came glaringly apparent that my dad was not like the other dads. It was very apparent. And uh, we're lining up to enter the auditorium, and um, I go to hook my dad's arm, because Mrs. Perkins says we're gonna hook arms. And um, he said, let's hold hands. And I said, but Mrs. Perkins says, and he says, I don't give a frick what Mrs. Perkins says. <laughs> Except he didn't say frick. <laughs> he held my hand. And he didn't care what anyone else there thought of him. And it didn't matter. And I have realized that I was caring very much too much what other people was thinking of me. And I needed to let that go. So he held my hand down that aisle, and Mrs. Perkins was upset. <laughs> and then at the end, when I got on stage, he kissed me, and he told me that he was proud of me. My dad was uh, very big on making sure that I was independent. Even though I was a girl, he was gonna make sure that I could do everything on my own the same way that any boy could. Every night, we would watch the evening news, and he wanted to know my opinion on it. He didn't want me to have the same opinion as him, 
He wanted me to have my own opinion. I could have any opinion that I wanted to, as long as I could justify it. And I wish, I, I wish he was here today to see some of my opinions now. <laughs> now, since he's passed, I've managed to get an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, and at the end of the year, I'll have an MBA. I just wish he was here to enjoy the success with me. Thank you, everyone.